Well, hello and uh, welcome to Gundam Explained. My name is Adam. Um, so on the Gundam Info official Gundam YouTube channel just the other day, um, they posted a video from the director of the new Gundam live action movie. Um, and let's take a listen. I want to kind of break this down. Hey, everyone out there at Bandai Namco, plus any fans who might be watching this. I am Jordan Vote roberts and I'm sitting here in front of you because last week it was announced that I've been given the incredible honor of directing the first proper live-action adaptation of Mobile Suit Gundam. Okay, he said first proper live adaptation, live-action adaptation of Mobile Suit Gundam. So a couple of things that I take away from this is since he's saying proper, he might be referring to the... Um, the Canadian live action Gundam. Oh, I forgot it off the top of my head. There's too many Gundams. Oh, there's a cat here. Um, <clears throat> came out in '99 in Canada and it wasn't that great, but some of the action scenes were great. But he's saying adaptation to Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, and he even references Tomino's vision, and he'll get to it in a second. So it's really like he's talking about they are going to adapt the original Mobile Suit Gundam. This is an absolute dream come true for me, and I could not ask for better creative partners than everyone at Sunrise, Legendary, and Netflix. Honestly, it's... So Sunrise is, are the original owners of uh, Gundam. This isn't some like Disney thing where then there's you know, George Lucas and Disney and all that. <clears throat> it's the original creators, or the original, I guess, owners of the IP are kicking this off. I think Netflix is a good choice just because Netflix, um, the content doesn't seem to be as um, corporatized. I don't know what to say where a lot of uh, corporate decisions are made. All right, yeah, usually with Netflix shows, they let their creators kind of do whatever. Um, and that's why sometimes it can be a little jarring. But I think if you got the right team, um, especially with this director making that Kong Skull Island, there's a lot of elements to that that, that lend to Mobile Suit Gundam. So. Kind this is of all good news. In such a short video message to express the full weight of how exciting this is for me as a filmmaker and a fan. However, I can give you a world exclusive first look. Yeah, there's not a world exclusive first look, really. He's just going to show his Gundams. But what I wanted to talk about, too, was the new Gundam next to him. Again, <clears throat> this new Gundam is in that Universal Century timeline, the original Mobile Suit Gundam being the Universal Century. So there's more clues here that are lending to the Gundam movie to be an adaptation of the original Mobile Suit Gundam. I don't want to hype myself up because if it's not, I'll be disappointed. But if it's a cool additional story in the UC timeline, I'm cool with that. But he was just going to show off some Gundams. You know, I don't recognize some of them uh, if they're not UC. Um, but there's one up here coming up. Yeah, the GP-01. was kind of shocked to find them. It or is that the yeah, no, that's a GP01 FB because no, it has the space in stuff perfect condition. added to it. And that's saying a lot because, unfortunately, I think it's obvious that um, this right. month, however, marks the 42nd anniversary since Gundam premiered on Japanese television. And that means it's been 42 years of the world being a better place. I cannot wait. Okay, well, <clears throat> he's going to be going on for quite a bit about this, but really, oh, you know what? I should bring up really good idea. Let me. Uh... Open a new tab. Um, so really, you know, everything I'm seeing really points to this being um, that it's going to be done well. Because we don't normally. All right. Um, I think he wants to make a Metal Gear Solid movie. <laughs> um, ooh, I haven't seen this. They're coming. Oh, and ooh, an F-91. Uh, so this is a shot from F91, but it's very similar to the opening with the Zakus when they br break into the uh, colony. Um, here's hoping to see some Zakus, and he says they're coming. Okay. So was that just another hint just there? Um, message to my Gundam family and all people of Earth who souls away down my gravity. Okay, he always oh, talking about his message there. There was some other cool stuff he had. Um, there was... Oh, and he's a big fan of Super Metroid. Man, this guy. This guy. Um, let's see what else. Man, he is a gamer. Um, damn. He also, so he had some more. Okay, so check out his Twitter because there's actually even more. Director of the upcoming. I guess I didn't know that he's also directing that. What? Okay, let's see. Um. 
Yeah, man, he knows his people. Look at that. Okay, well, I guess we could say that this is probably going to be in good hands. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.